Hello, I'm Bruce Board from the Insurance Club of California talking to you about how much auto insurance you should have. The one word answer is enough. By that I mean everybody has their own amount of auto insurance that they need. A college student with no assets to protect and a old car that he drives, he or she drives, um, they might need the basic minimum, 15, 30, and 10. By that I mean 15,000 bodily injury, 30,000 per occurrence, and 10,000 property damage. Now if you do own your own house and you have some assets to protect, you probably want to increase that coverage up to say 50,000 per person bodily injury, 100,000 per occurrence bodily injury, and 25,000 property damage liability. The reason I say that is because a lot of cars on the road today are worth or they start at about $25,000. Say a newer Honda Accord might cost that much. If you're involved in an accident and you're considered at fault, you're going to have to pay for the property damage to that car. If you totaled that guy's Honda Accord, they might want $25,000 or more. So um, it makes sense to have all the insurance that you can get at the time of, at the time of an accident. However, if you don't have any assets to protect, you should at least have the minimum coverage that I talked about, that 15, 30, and 10. You know, your typical doctors and lawyers driving around Beverly Hills, California, you're going to want to have higher limits, at least 100,000 per person, 300,000 per accident bodily injury, and at least 50,000 per accident property damage. All of your leasing companies are going to require you to carry those same limits, 100, 300 bodily injury, and 50,000 property damage. If you have multiple houses, maybe you want higher limits than that. You can get 250,000 per person, uh, 500,000 or half a million bodily injury, and 100,000 property damage. Uh, then on top of that, for, I don't know, two or three hundred dollars a year, you can get what's called an, an umbrella. An umbrella moves that coverage up from 250, 500 uh, liability up to a million dollars coverage. Now that's what you should have if you own a few oil wells and you do have a lot of assets to protect. The bottom line is you should have enough coverage to pay for all the damages that you could possibly uh, be held accountable for. So the more coverage you have, the better it is in the event of a claim. If you have no claims at all, well, maybe it's better to go with one of the lower limits. Talk to your insurance agent or independent insurance professional. See what they say and what they suggest about your auto insurance needs. I'm Bruce Board from Board Insurance in Westlake Village, California.